A fallout from Landmark tonight. Company emails painting a picture of internal trouble and a CEO with a siege mentality. Matt Gotch joining us now from the newsroom with more. Matt. Hey, Terry. Current and former employees call it a culture of fear. And after reviewing these leaked emails, it isn't a stretch of the imagination to see why. In company emails obtained by 16 News Now from multiple former employees, Landmark CEO Matt Boyle tells employees that Landmark is, quote, at war and that the St. Joseph County Sheriff's Office and Indiana's Division of Mental Health and Addiction are, quote, the enemy. He goes on to say that Landmark is in no way responsible for the death of patients and their deaths were, quote, neither our fault nor preventable. When I read the email, it felt to me also like he was blaming more the lower level employees and the patients. Um, even when we would be handling the facility quite well, I, in my opinion, we had all the patients on, you know, they were doing well, everything was going smoothly. There was a lack of management in the building, and when they were in the building, in my opinion, I, I never could find them. With legal battles mounting for Praxis Landmark, Boyle also takes aim at former employees, who tell 16 News Now they left for various reasons, including unsanitary work conditions. My main thing is the patients weren't treated properly, employees weren't treated properly, the facility was disgusting, toilets would back up. And patients weren't, weren't able to flush their toilets, weren't able to shower. Toilets would overflow into the hallways and flood the hallways with feces. Boyle concludes the email by saying they will, quote, slay whatever enemies life throws in their way and compares his current struggles to the biblical story of Daniel and the lion's den, where Daniel is spared because he is found blameless. I believe some point in that email that we were, the previous employees and the patients were the ones that brought this company down. No, dear, you did. You brought it down yourself. And trouble seems to continue for Tanya and her former co-workers, saying they're having trouble finding work because many local employees just aren't hiring former Landmark employees. Terry. Matt Gotch in the newsroom for us tonight. Matt, appreciate the update.